Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And today I have another tutorial for you guys, a nice short one where I break down this camera effect right here. Now, I know there's a lot of effects that are happening right now. We're gonna really focus on the camera movement and I might sprinkle in some extra sauce here so that you guys have something to inspire you on your next motion design or your next logo or YouTube intro. But we're gonna dive right into After Effects. This tutorial shouldn't take us too long, maybe a couple of minutes. Let's dive right in. All right, we're in After Effects now. And here's that shot that I did. Uh, it looks pretty complicated at first. It's just a couple of pre-comps with some nice little built-in effects. There's nothing really crazy. Uh, I did use like Twitch uh, from Video Copilot to uh, just add a little bit of flair to this. But um, for the focus of this tutorial, I just want to dive in and I want to do this camera move. So let's just do it like we did in that previous tutorial where we just did a nice little pull out for the heat distortion. And so to do that, I'm just going to create a new comp. Let's go ahead and just call this camera animation. Let's do a new text layer. Right, let's just type in text and so on and center it up. You can do whatever you want here. And as uh, as always, this effect is completely procedural. What I want to do is I want to come here. I want to pre-compose this. Let's just do this text comp. And then let's go ahead and add in our camera. Now for this one, let's go ahead and do a 24 millimeter camera. You can even come in here and do 24 millimeter. And let's call this shot cam. And what I want to do is create a null object. You guys will remember this from my null objects tutorial that I did a couple months back. And I will type this as camera control. Let's go ahead and switch that to 3D. Let's also do the text comp to 3D. And let's go ahead and parent this to the camera control. The next thing I want to do is I'll, I want to start setting this up in three dimensional space. So we want to end on, uh, so it looks like this, right? We, we want this to look like the final screen. So to do that, let's go ahead and pick something late in the composition. I have a five second long composition, so to keep that in mind. And let's just come up here to the camera controls. Let's hit P for position, right click and separate those dimensions. And I just want to set a key in the Z position starting at zero. Let's go forward just a little bit for right now. And then let's go ahead and push in on the Z position. So we zoom in and there we go. In fact, I'm going to come here to full. And this will work for right now. If I just hit play, there we go. We've got our camera already moving. Almost looks like something out of Star Wars. So if you want to do that Star Wars scroll, this is how you would do it. But let's throw in that rotation. Now, conventional wisdom will come in here and say, well, let's go ahead and do the rotation here. Since I did it on the camera control, we could throw in the rotation on, let's say, the X. And that's not quite working. What about the Z? That eh, seems to be working. But me personally, I don't like to work this way. And in fact, I, I use the null here to control the space and the distance that it happens at. But I actually just want to go ahead and throw the rotation on the camera transform itself. So essentially what will end up happening is I have a camera that's rotating in 3D space and being controlled by a null object. So this camera could do whatever I want. Let's go ahead and take care of that right now. So with the camera control highlight, I'm going to hit U and then let's come down here and hit R on the rotation for shot cam. We want this to rotate on the Z axis. So let's go ahead and just hit the Z axis right here. Just at a keyframe. We'll massage these keyframes here in a few. And then let's go ahead and rotate backwards this time. I think on the tutorial, I go forward and let's just say negative one twenty. There we go. And it'll rotate like that. Just going to snap. Now that we have these keyframes in place, let's go ahead and situate them the way we want them. So let's go ahead and start this rotation. Let's say, let's pull out right there. And let's have the rotation start before. Now the animation is too linear, so we have to come in and smooth this out. Let's work with our directional movement first. And let's go ahead and just highlight these keyframes and hit F9 to smooth them out. Let's dive into the graph editor. I want this, I like this curve right here to where it rests. I kind of want it to fly on a little bit faster though. Actually don't like it resting that quickly. So let's go ahead and drag this bar down. And I think this uh, is taking too long. So let's shorten that up. I'm going to hit B to just shorten up my timeline for preview reasons. All right, this works better. We can always move this later. Let's do the same thing for the keyframes down here on the rotation. It's just at F9. And I'm going to bring this over like so. Let's dive into the graph editor and take a look. 
So I want this to rest. This one I do want it to rotate slowly, but start really quickly. There we go. And now we have this nice pull out effect that we saw in that other tutorial. Nice and easy done. I'm gonna go into the shot cam, hit AA to bring up the camera options. And let's go and make sure the depth of field is on. It is. And uh, I wanna go ahead and play with the aperture a little bit. Open that up. And so now we get this nice depth of field effect as it flies into place. Aperture, of, let's say 75 in this case. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this effect right here and how we animate the camera. It's a simple, easy effect to do just to add a little bit of polish to your animations with that depth of field and a nice camera movement that looks natural. If you like this video, please be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and smash that bell icon so you know when new videos go live, and I'll see you in the next video.